Hello there, my name is Sam Krunzman and I'm going to be talking to you about radar and its applications. Now, radar is um, like how it is used currently. The most common use that we see of it is in weather. As you can see, a uh, an image um, of Hurricane Katrina uh, while it was... A, in the process of making its landfall on New Orleans, as you can see in the center of the screen. Now, how radar works is um, it's all based off of using waves to, like, sending waves out from a centralized location in order to find where, uh, like, where objects are, and then those waves will bounce back. And the, dis the time it takes for the waves to be sent out and a return will tell you exactly how long and how far away it is uh, from you. So right here you can tell that Hurricane Katrina has just made landfall. If you look at the, uh, the center uh, where there's like a red, a reddish tint that, that was surrounded by a whole uh, bunch of yellow. Um, and you can see it's starting to weaken uh, because that's what storms tend to do or hurricanes tend to do as soon as they make landfall. Now this is another image that is further off the coast uh, during one of, during its strengthening phase after it passed over the Florida uh, over the Florida coast. Uh, it's in the Gulf of Mexico and this is the period of time that it underwent some of its uh, uh, most rapid development um, and strengthening. Um, into a Category 5 hurricane. Now, the damage that it caused is absolutely catastrophic, as uh, we all probably remember. Um, but the most important thing to know is that radar is what helped us be able to determine exactly the strength of which the hurricane was coming with. Alright, so here is a different example of how radar is used. Now, this is showing kind of the differences between traditional radar, which is just based off of what we use for like the weather, for example, and what has now become uh, standard, which is using uh, certain wavelengths and frequencies to receive information from planes as to which way they're coming in and like telling them exact location so that um, the air traffic control can know exactly what's going on as uh, they're making their as they're making their approach into the runway all right so this is a picture of air traffic control and um, basically this is like what it looked like what it looks like right now uh, in a modern air traffic control and you can see kind of just like where all the planes are on the screen um, and which direction that they're coming in from. Alright, so this is the last and in my personal opinion the most detested use of uh, waves and radar. The use of radar guns by police officers has caused the suffering of well I say suffering, I mean a blow to the pocket for many an American driver and drivers all over the world because it uses a Doppler effect which basically is that same echo effect that I was talking about before and um, basically the faster that it comes back, the faster that the wave that is sent out comes back um, means that you're going faster and if you're going too fast you're going to be written up for a speeding ticket. Now those, not so fun, and I'm pretty sure we all could agree on that one. But that's all I have for you guys, so thank you, and see you all later. Goodbye.